Hi friends, it's Miss Jones. So today's update on the garden is actually about pests. So if you took a look at one of my videos that was about our toad friend, who's not really a friend, um, I actually, he's still been visiting. I haven't caught him in the garden bed, but there's evidence of him. So you can see here, this is our broccoli, these, these tall ones here. But I took the lemon balm that we had planted at school, you know, I brought it home. And lemon balm is actually a buddy plant to broccoli. It keeps other insects away. And I decided that I would plant it with the broccoli because it's good for the broccoli. But I was hoping that if I planted it, it would keep the toad from coming in because I was finding, you see like the hole right there? I was finding holes all over, which I think are from the, the toad. So it's kind of helped, but you can see like he found another place. There's a hole, there's a hole right there by the kale. Um, so he's finding other places to dig. So he's coming in here at night and kind of making house. Um, so here's the other pest problem that we're having. So this morning I came out here and I realized, I'm gonna take a look at this plant right here. See how this leaf is eaten, gone? and then part of this leaf eaten gone. So I was kind of worried and I thought to myself, oh, oh, do I have slugs? Because again, I have seen some slugs around the garden beds um, and I've put down diatomaceous earth. You can see here, another leaf all eaten. Um, so I worry about slugs in my garden, whereas I don't worry about slugs at school. So I started looking around at the leaves to see if I could figure out what kind of a pest we had. And then I found a green caterpillar. So I'm gonna see if I can find, up. Oh, there we go, right there. See right there? So my kindergartners and my first graders will recognize this um, caterpillar. That caterpillar is definitely a pest. That is from the white, uh, white cabbage butterflies. So those butterflies are really common. Those are, well, it's actually a kind of moth, even though we call it white cabbage butterfly. But they're those, those white butterflies that you see all over. Um, and they love to lay their eggs on top of cabbage. They love to lay their eggs on top of kale. And this year, because we had really, really good weather, they decimated our dinosaur kale at school. They laid eggs all over. Um, and their eggs are, actually they've got, they've already laid eggs all over the broccoli. You can see there's little tiny eggs underneath. Um, so they've, they've become quite a problem already just in the month that I've had this garden at home and they they move fast you can see actually there was one caterpillar on here this morning and he ate all of this just in a matter of hours so what do we do about this well there's not a whole lot you can hand pick off the caterpillars you can wash the eggs off by hand but the honestly the best thing to do is to cover your kale and your cabbage and the things that they eat with a net. Um, from what I've read, even neem oil doesn't really uh, do much to prevent those butterflies from laying their eggs. They're, they're pretty voracious. So I am going to have my kids pick off the caterpillars because they've already volunteered to do that. And then I'm gonna actually get something and lay a net down. Um, I have some kale here, so I'm actually going to get some milk jugs and put milk jugs on top of the seedlings to protect them because they do need some sunlight to start to grow better. But on the broccoli, I'm gonna put a net down. Um, so that's my plan. I'll let you know if it works. So that's all for now. I'll try to keep the pests out of your garden because these guys are no good. All right, I'll see you later, navigators.